Whether it's in the spirit of athletic competition, to stop an evil warrior getting their hands on a cursed sword, or because someone jogged your elbow in the pub and made you spill your beer, sometimes getting into a fight is inevitable. I'm gonna wipe you off the face of this earth, son. That said, you might want to take into account where you are. In some fight locations, it's a better idea to just swallow your pride and move on, because if you stay where you are right now, getting beaten up is going to be the least of your worries, just like in the following examples. A space elevator is a proposed method for reaching space that doesn't require rockets. Instead, anchoring a cable on Earth and the other end in space beyond geostationary orbit for things to travel along. So far, space elevators are just theoretical, as the cable material has to be both incredibly strong and light. However, someone in the Street Fighter Cross Tekken universe seems to have managed it, because here's Zangief and King having a wrestling match on one. The stage, Cosmic Elevator from Street Fighter Cross Tekken, starts your fighters out on Earth before hurtling you skywards with such velocity that before the second round is up, you're in actual space where you probably shouldn't be hurling 300 pound pro wrestlers at the walls of the only thing standing between you and explosive decompression. Also, if that isn't enough, you've got Mech Zangief, FOMO King, who apparently wanted to be on the space elevator so bad that he'll cling onto the outside of it and is now frantically hammering away on the glass trying to get in. Also, I'm pretty sure we turned upside down at some point. All I'm saying, guys, is maybe we can talk this out back on, you know, Earth. If anyone needs me, I'll be climbing down the cable. If you or I were to suddenly find ourselves in hell, which is to say a literal, physical manifestation of the concept of a bad afterlife where the wicked are punished for all eternity, we'd probably try to turn around and head back to Earth. Maybe we'd set up a few orphanages when we got back, just to be safe. <laughs> Not so the mortal combatants of Mortal Kombat, who, from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 onwards, are perfectly happy to have their fights in a place where the doors are made of skulls, the interior decoration theme is tortured skeletons, and everything that isn't bones is covered in molten lava, making everything… ah, oh, what's the word? <laughs> yes, that's it, thank you. Come on you guys, this is super dangerous, what if someone were to fall into the lava? <laughs> Fatality. Oh, that. That if someone were to fall into the lava. You want to live, pal? You better not hold back. I have never missed a called shot. Heaven, Heaven or, or hell. hell. Duo. 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 One. One. Let's, Let's rock. rock. An opera house is already a place I would counsel against having a fist fight in, because A, you'll be paying upwards of £200 if you want to be fighting anywhere with a decent view of the stage, and B, you're going to miss the second half of Mozart's Die Zauberflirte if you carry on like that. And that's before I saw the Opera House stage from Guilty Gear Excerpt Sign, which honestly makes me wonder if the makers of Guilty Gear actually know what opera is. This stage is a huge ornate theatre centred around a circular stage. The audience is a bunch of people with boxes on their heads who are strapped into their chairs. The act on stage, it seems, is a bunch of people with boxes on their heads floating around in a circle. These people have glowing random numbers on their boxes. Oh, and the whole thing is being watched over by some kind of metal skeleton thing? Who is chained into position? Yeah, I'm getting serious bad vibes about this place. Unless this is some kind of avant-garde interpretation of Carmen, I'm going to say it's time to put down the weapons and, extremely slowly, back away from the opera house. Oh no, the boxhead people are leaving. Okay, forget slowly. Run! Keep hope close, for it may not be there at the end of your journey. <laughs> Battle 1. 
fight. <laughs> Normally, the deck of a ship would be a fine place to have a fight, putting you in the grand historical tradition of Blackbeard the Pirate, and that time I was banned from the Kiss Cruise 2014. Good times. However, when the ship you're on is literally in two pieces and being hammered with cannon fire from the many other ships surrounding it, maybe now is the time to get somewhere safer before you proceed with the business of having a fight. But just try telling that to the fighters in Soul Calibur V, who are more than happy to keep whacking each other with nunchucks or poking each other with halberds on this stage which is about 10 minutes away from being something that gets explored by a Discovery Channel mini-sub in 400 years time. You hear that guys? You need to get off the deck of this ship right now. Battle 3. Fight. No, don't get inside it. That's worse. I feel like I shouldn't have to explain why spending any amount of time in Dracula's castle is a bad idea, but apparently the cast of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate need reminding because thanks to the Castlevania games, the whole gang is headed to Drax's shack to have a dust-up. The architecture itself, with its spooky stained glass, creepy carvings, and the fact that half of it has straight up broken off already, screams, stay away. But then there's the fact that this place is full of mummies, gorgons, Frankensteins, weird crying mask faces, actual death himself, and werewolves flinging themselves through the windows. Which can hardly be conducive to the kind of focus you require for a world-class fight, and is also terrifying. <laughs> What's more, Dracula is here, this being his home, and isn't super keen to see you. So much for that famous Transylvanian hospitality. Seriously, Smash Bros, all this could be avoided if you just had a fight somewhere else. Oh well, at least no one died. Oh, except Luigi. Luigi totally died. Round one. Fight. Now, we've seen a lot of unwise fighting locations so far, but at least all of the aforementioned stages won't stick you with a massive dry cleaning bill after you're done fighting there. Not so our next stage, Tekken 6's Fiesta del Tomate. This stage takes place during an annual tomato festival in Spain in which locals gather together to celebrate the humble love apple with a big street party, and is messier than eating hard-shell tacos with your hands behind your back. Did you want catch up with that international martial arts competition? No? Too bad. People throw tomatoes at each other, roll around in pulped tomatoes, and generally smash the shit out of a bunch of tomatoes, which is great for them, less so for the King of Iron Fist tournament fighters who spent a lot of money on these boots, actually. Oh, wearing white was a mistake, you guys. Look, Marvel superheroes, we need as many of you guys around as possible after all that Thanos Infinity Gauntlet unpleasantness, so we get pretty cross when you do things to deliberately put yourself in harm's way, like, for example, fighting on top of a speeding bullet train. You do know that train has an inside, right? Why not fight in there if fighting on a train is so important? Up on the roof, you could fall off, be hit by a tunnel, or, and I mean, maybe you should consider this, all that superpowered fighting might cause the train to derail, which would kill the hundreds of passengers on board. Plus, if anyone catches you up there without a ticket, you could be liable for a penalty fare of up to twice the cost of the original ticket. Did you ever think of that, Psylocke? No, of course you didn't. Spider yeah, probably because you're stood on top of a bullet train, you dummy. Those are some of the worst places fighting game characters have ever decided to have a fight, but if we've missed off one of your favourites, drop it in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this from outside Xbox every week. Thanks for watching.